One of the best pieces of evidence that Bigfoot truly exists may be the Sierra Sounds. The Sierra Sounds captured in the Sierra Nevada Mountains by journalist Al Berry and outdoorsman Ron Moorhead are a series of audio recordings where vocal communication with multiple Sasquatches can be heard. Between 1972 and 1975, Barry and Moorhead captured more than 90 minutes of audio at an undisclosed location in the Sierra Nevada Mountains by hanging a microphone in a tree and then hiding inside of a lean-to and waiting. As Barry tells the story, the encounters began with knocking sounds and rocks hurtling towards them from the ridge above, but soon progressed into two distinct voices that, quote, carried through the trees. The Sierra Sounds, also known as the Barry Moorhead Tapes, were born. During their research expedition, Barry and Moorhead quickly learned that in order to lure their subject and successfully capture their voices, the two of them had to remain out of sight. On many occasions, they were able to vocally communicate back and forth with the unseen creatures, but if they departed from the confines of their lean-to, the creatures would flee. So, they remained inside and listening throughout the entire experience, unable to catch a glimpse of what it was on the other side of the thin lean-to walls, left with only their imagination to fill in the blanks. The vocalizations captured the attention of a wide variety of audiences, from cryptid enthusiasts to college professors to military linguists, and even earned a nickname, Samurai Chatter. A University of Wyoming professor by the name of Kerwin conducted a year-long study on the recordings and concluded that the vocalizations were primate in nature and that the range, tone, and lung capacity required to create the sounds couldn't physically have come from a human. By 2008, the Sierra Sounds had reached retired U.S. Navy linguist R. Scott Nelson, who was instantly fascinated with them. Nelson, who at the time had over 30 years of experience in foreign language and linguistics, including the collection, transcription, analysis, and reporting of voice communications as a cryptolinguist, claimed the recordings demonstrated intelligent language communication, despite the fact that the language was of unknown origin. What do you think of the Sierra Sounds? Is it truly the language of Bigfoot, or could it just be an elaborate hoax? Leave a comment and let me know, and follow for more spooky content.